hey, what's up, people? It's Overhype Vegeta uh, 9000 here. Um, I guess I'm going to make this vlog as a little bit of a recap. So, um, first, got to go to Otakon. That was pretty sweet. Um, first and foremost, uh, really happy. I got to meet um, Gami 33 up close in person. I got to see her at MAGFest, um, but now I got to see her uh, again, and she was really nice. Um, uh, she, she came with, uh, with her friends from uh, Fan Savvy. Um, and oh, speaking of which, um, this is where I got this Spidey ba uh, bandana from. So thank you, Fan Savvy. Um, and if you were there, you saw their giant plush Gyarados, and it was really cool. Let's see what else was there. Oh, yeah. Um, in the, in the, and so I got to, and so I got to talk to her. Um, I also gave her a little gift uh, of Gigi, uh, a plush of Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service, the little cat. Um, that, was, that was nice. And so I did not get to take a, um, a selfie with her. I, I just didn't get the chance. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to like distract her from other panels she wanted to attend. But I don't, I don't mind because I had a good time. I got got to meet her, um, and that felt good. Um, other things I did um, that were really awesome. Uh, I got to go to the uh, Flow Q and A. Um, Flow, for those who don't know, is a Japanese rock band. Um, I don't especially know a lot about their work, but I do know uh, that um, if if you watched uh, Dragon Ball, uh, the Resurrection F or Battle of the Gods, Dragon Ball Z movies, um, they're the ones who did the um, the the Shala Head Shala cover. Um, Speaking of which, uh, something related to that, at Otakon, we'll get back to that. Um, but something that really funny that happened um, when I was at the Flow Q&A panel was, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, um, I, so, so um, uh, first, uh, first let, me, let me show you. Um, this uh, right here that you're seeing is me. Um, as you can see, I, I look like I'm trying to be some sort of stupid hipster. Um, with, with those sunglasses and that stupid afro. I was trying to go for Mr. Satan. I don't know. Um, I'm wearing, uh, in the front you can see that I'm, I'm wearing my Satan, uh, hype shirt. Um, good old Team Four Star. They come up with the awesomest of merchandise. Um, and, uh, and you can't see it, but, um, I've got my, I mean, uh, you can see it wrapped around my, my waist, uh, is my, uh, I Am The Hype sweatshirt with Vegeta on it. I guess that makes Vegeta the butt of the hype joke. <laughs> oh God, I'm terrible. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so when I so when I was at the the flow Q and A, um, uh, there, there was a translator to um, to translate for those who are just asking English questions. Yeah. Um, and so um, first. I got up and asked uh, something like, I don't remember my exact words, but something like this. When you're playing in a recording studio versus when you're playing on stage at a concert, which, uh, which, do you, uh, which setting do you feel you can rock out more in? And I don't remember if they actually answered my question, but um, once the translator had finished translating, I know that one of them said, uh, I mean, uh, pointed at me and said, you have good hair. And I just grinned, uh, and, 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 and as I said, it's not mine, I yanked off the wig, and everyone just erupted into laughter, and it was hilarious. And uh, um, I asked another question. Because Otakon uh, was, was hosting the Annie Song World of um a couple of bands would be there, Flo included. I was going to be, I, I had to I was going to be going um, to South Carolina for um, with family, so I didn't get. To, I only got to go Friday. Uh, on Friday would be Jam Project um, and TM Revolution, and second night um, on uh, on Saturday, uh, August twelfth, would be um, Fl uh, Flow and Yusei Tekoku. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to learn Japanese actually. So I asked them because um, the second question I asked the Flow panel was. Do you guys, uh, because he's here, but it, and if you can make time, do you think you uh, want to perform uh, Shala Head Shala with Hironobu Kageyama? Um, for those who don't know, I and so I decided also um, to 
uh, look at some of the cosplayers and maybe go to the dealer's room. So, um, notable cosplayers I saw, and, um, it, and obviously there are a bunch of other Otakon 2017 vi uh, videos that, that made awesome cosplay music videos and just vlogs, so you should check them out too. I, I've made a playlist, um, I've, I've, or I've been making a playlist as getting nabbing as many as I can ever since, uh, ever since August 11th. So, um, I, 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 you can check that out in my, in my playlist, um, uh, set, uh, um, menu. Sorry. Um, I saw a lot of Megumins. I saw, um, a, a lot of, uh, Deadpools. One was actually, um, wrapped up in a taco. That was kind of fun. Or, no, Chimichanga, what am I talking about? I saw, I saw, um, from Overwatch, a really good, uh, um, homemade Mercy uh, cosplay with folding out wings and, um, a, like, a uh, spinning staff, and that was actually, um, featured in, um, the, uh, the, uh, an, an Otakon, uh, a video Otakon released, uh, yesterday, um, so, uh, so you can check that out. I, I saw a, a Spider-Man, a spider -Gwen, an Ultimate Spider-Man, the Miles Morales version, um, I, I saw a lot of awesome cosplays, and it made me think, wow, this, that, that you can see up here, pales in contrast to everyone else. I, I am trying to be hipster, and I'm epically failing. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out something good to cosplay that maybe speaks to me. I'm not very good at art, but... Um, I mean, I'm sure I can just order something, or who knows, maybe I'll. Anyway, I digress again. Um, so, event, so, I went to the dealer's room, and it took me a while to decide, man, what the hell am I going to buy? And, um, eventually I, I came to a small, a small little table, I was selling, um, t-shirts. I saw, I saw this. Um, sorry. Uh, Sar uh, Saren uh, High uh, Basketball. Um, for those who don't know, Saren is, uh, High is the uh, name of the, of the school in Kuroko no Basket. Um, I have not seen Kuroko no Basket, but, and, and you should definitely watch this. I have seen a, uh, a one, uh, an episode of an abridged parody uh, by um, Eagle 8 Burger of the, Schmuck, of the Schmuck Squad. Kuroko no Basket abridged, or abbreviated, KNBA. Kind of fits, because, you know, NBA. Um, it's really funny, and, um, hope, and, I can't even say how funny it is, that's how funny, I keep grinning, you can see that obviously, I, I don't know how to describe how funny it really is. Anyway, um, more on that later, maybe, um, I saw, so I bought this, um, and, uh, and, oh yeah, and I also bought, um, the Spidey bandana from, uh, Fan Savvy's, uh, table, so thank you, Fan Savvy. Um, and then, eventually it was time for the, for the concert, so I, so everyone went up to the top floor, um, of, of the Wall Street Washington, uh, building, um, and Jam Project was up first, and I knew there was only really one song I was gonna know. Um, fun fact, I actually recently learned that that one song, uh, apparently was, re was re officially released when I was, when I turned 18, my birthday. Um, you can look that up for yourself. Um, and I, and so I thought to myself, no wonder I like it so much. <laughs> um, and so, um, when it finally came around, uh, the, the, so the song is... Uh, is the hero the theme to One Punch Man? Um, I start sh I start singing it like crazy, and and during the like first half, um, I mean, I mean singing along with it like crazy, and during the first half, I set I stood up on my seat, probably blocking those behind me, and I should have uh, I should have gotten my ass back down immediately, but it took one of the like um, one one of the one of the staff to do that. But luckily, they brought me down to earth. But I mean, I was going hoarse. But I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't missing a single, uh, I wasn't missing a, a single word. You've seen, you've seen my lip sync of it, um, uh, uh, lip sync number one. If, if you've watched that, so 
I, I was really uh, excited for it, and I did go horse, but it was freaking worth it. I mean, I was, I was sweaty all over. It was awesome. The Jam Project uh, bid, bid Oticon farewell, and that was that. I, I, I went to uh, the bathroom just to like, clean myself off since I was like su super sweaty. I mean, I mean, I was, it was stinging in my eyes. <laughs> um, uh, I quickly rushed back um, and uh, decided just to wait for um, STM Revolution was probably just getting set up on stage. I decided to just, I, I decided in my mind to uh, just do the same thing uh, and only with the song um, Resonance, the opening for Soul Eater, uh, season one. Um, and I didn't even know it that well, but I just, I, I knew it kind of, so I decided I'd do that one. Here's how I quickly rushed back in. I was walking slowly back towards the entrance when suddenly I heard, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Bells, like, and I thought, bells, haunting kind of a theme, like Halloween-ish. I heard running for the entrance, about like four feet uh, from the entrance, I then immediately heard, da-da, da-da, da-da. And so I knew, shit, I get in before it's too late. And so I quickly showed um, my stamp to the, uh, to the uh, staff member who's, uh, um, and quickly rushed back to my seat. And right as the music began, uh, right as he started singing, I mean, they just started going with it. So not either the machine okay. And so uh, I blundered through most of the lyrics, but I, I got um, so I got some of them. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, within the next few weeks or sooner, I'm gonna do a, a lip stink of that name. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, whatever. It's, it was my choice um, of, of resonance. Um, I've been practicing over and over, so hopefully, I'm good enough to try it again. Um, this was, um, oh, oh, and before we get, so, sadly I wasn't able to stay, um, longer than Friday, uh, but, um, and I'm never gonna really know the answer as to whether or not I was responsible for this, I saw on Twitter the next day that, uh, when, when it was Flo's turn to perform, uh, Kageyama, the guy who does, uh, who, who performed, who first performed Chala Hechala, did Chala Hechala with them. And so I wondered, maybe, <laughs> but honestly, I, I'm sure they probably had it planned anyway. But uh, I digress. So overall, this is, this has been, I mean, my first ever uh, anime convention or convention anything. I haven't even gone to Comic Con. I call myself a Marvel fan, please. Wait, I already said that in the last vlog. Whatever. Um, and so this, so this is my second ever. Uh, the fact that it was. I, um, it was so close to home, I live in D.C., um, was really great, and I got to meet so many other uh, uh, awesome people. I even met uh, um, Captain uh, Clean Freak, um, I, I didn't know who she was until I looked her up, uh, and so I thought, uh, that was cool. It was awesome, I mean, she was, she was nice, we were just standing um, in line, um, uh, just, just each to get our lunch. I, I got, um, I was just getting a Capri sandwich, um, and uh, uh, she she was dressed as um, as Levi um, cleaning, uh, so that was nice. I think from now on I'm gonna try to find other anime conventions. Uh, hopefully I can if if maybe if I go to Liberty Con I can meet No Wacking and One Kids, and if they return again maybe something witty at Anime Boston, but um, only time will tell. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, that all aside, uh, I'm back in classes this week, um, and I, but I've gained uh, some some more subscribers. I've hit uh, 20, um, and so thank you for all of you. I'm gonna try to work harder to get um, more um, more um, videos in in within the coming weeks, as much as my classes will allow. Um, and um, I and I guess that. Is it? I can't really think of anything else to say. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, for uh, for those of you who noticed, um, yes, uh, my um, lip stink of uh, Kiyoshi Hikawa's um, Limit uh, Break X Survivor um, is down right now. But um, I've I it says that uh, I mean due to a copyright strike. But they said that as long as you fill out copyright school, so. Uh, they said that within 90 days, it will be put back up. 
I think I read that right. I'm going to I'm going to double check. I mean, I've already done this copyright school quiz twice. I think I'm going to do it a third time just for good measure. But in any event, um, uh, I I I, th I think YouTube is pretty good about making things clear. So hopefully that's all that's all well and good. Anyway, this vlog is starting to get a little bit on the long side, so I think I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna stop right here, and I hope you all. Have a good Labor Day weekend. Hype out. I am the hype!